Do you feel at home on the earth? I would like to, but I don't. I have always wanted a green thumb, but everything I tried to grow died. Okay, so I had so I had um, a betta fish, and I had with the betta fish it was a twenty gallon tank, and with the betta fish I had the glorps, which are a group of neon tetras, and they school together, and I had two shrimp, two cherry shrimp named Carl and Gibraltar, and I had Billy, but Billy was going to grow too big for the tank, so I had to return him to Petco which I felt very bad about, and my Uber driver on the way to Petco told me that I should feel bad. <laughs> this summer, I really dedicated myself to growing something, anything. And so I started with aloe. Once that started to grow successfully, um, and I kind of had a, a plant under my wing, I moved on to potatoes. And um, these potatoes like really uh, started my love affair with plants, so and, like, it was like the highlight of my summer to wake up every morning and see how much they had grown. How does it feel to have them under somebody else's care? Bad. I don't think they're being taken care of properly. Like I remember I, um, I went away for a week. I had like, had a huge growth spurt, like they had shot up. And I was so disappointed that I didn't get to watch them, but also like so proud because like, I hadn't really done that. Like they did it themselves, but like, I was part of the process of taking care of them and it's it's like nurturing a little baby, you know, like watching I invested in pots and misters and fertilizer. I control the nitrites and the nitrates and the ammonia and I do the little test tubes and check on it and I control the amount of food that goes into it and I control the live plants. Yes, and it's very sad. I went home for Thanksgiving and it's like very overpopulated by snails and and my betta fish has fin rot because the ammonia is all wrong and the glorps are down to four from eight. Damn. Yeah. I can always tell when I'm feeling good because my plants are thriving. Um, if my mental health is on the decline, then my plants are dying. They're like my babies and um, they're just so beautiful. I, I really love them. I think I've learned what good can come from taking like very specific care of something. <laughs> yes, I think it has made me love fish like way more than I would have if I never had fish. And they, you know, they move and they move towards sunlight and they perk up when you water them and they respond to attention and care. I'm engaging with them and interacting with them and I'm learning about them because I want to know how to take care of them. And it makes me feel like a little scientist, you know? Like it makes me feel like I can do anything. My, my roommate used to like think that fish were boring and lame, but then when they saw my fish tank, they were like, oh my God, fish have personalities. So I think like when people see like an ecosystem that is taken care of and like, if you enjoy it, then it'll like show other people that they can also care about it. Yeah, <laughs> fish is contagious. It is.